Joined tonight, guys. We've got a selection of many, many guests. And no, Dakota hasn't moved to house. He's sitting here in his. Where is it? You're using your phone, Dakota. Yeah. Happy to use my phone. We're joined by Sherry. She's one of Santa's elves. Are you one of Santa's elves, there, Sherry? Yes. Well, well Santa's elf or wife, whatever. Whatever you take me <laughs> We're also joined by Drew's Living History Mysteries. And then we're also joined by a amazing howdy, howdy. friend, Drew Paranormal Vlog. So I gave you a kind of super duper welcome there, you know. Now guys, I was going to wear a hat tonight, but my house is very warm, right? And yes, I'm bald, and it is, look, I'll give you a demonstration of it, right? Do you know I think I look stupid with this one? Yeah. Yeah, uh, what do you mean? Well, I, I, that answered that question because all this time <sighs> I've been trying to figure out which one was bald and which one was bonkers. No, it's, we're both bald and we're both bonkers. You know? Oh, 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 oh. One big ball there, you know? <laughs> yeah, look at. Look, all of your balls are alive. Look, everybody is all Christmassy and festive tonight. And Dakota <coughs> looks like he's in the Caribbean. What is that you've got above you? Like a fan kind of thing? Is that an American kind of thing, that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, see. So, so guys, um, we're just going to let it fill up. And tonight, we're just going to talk about everything paranormal and everything supernatural, everything possible. Plus, we want to try and put Drew's channel out there, help her channel grow, help okay. uh, Living History's channel grow. Sherry's channel grow and obviously your channel grow because we're only 15 subscribers off here. Bloody thousand. Could it happen for Christmas? To go? Could it happen? Nah, look for the naked baby. <sighs> I just don't know, you know. That'd be a nice present, that would. There's so, a possibility. You've got two witches here. Come on. Oh, that's right. right. Oh, these came up we never discussed. We never discussed that special thing that we were discussing in messages to you. We could announce it, but we can't tell you what it's called now, and we can't tell you when it's starting. We can't tell you it's starting the new year. The uh, Drew from a uh, Paranormal Vlog and Sherry are wanting to do their own show in Bald and Bonkers. But we can't tell you what it's called, because that's a secret. We have to, we've, got, we've got competition, you see. I like to take this hat off, because I'm bailing. That'll be fun. It'll be good to get the knowledge out there. It I think it'll be really good. It will be awfully good because it's... I think it'll bring... Change the opinion side. of witches. Aye. Yes. It, and it's not just that. The ch- it's there. For, it'll be about an hour and a half, about an hourish long. And you'll be able to talk about spells and you'll be able to talk about all the kind of things that you'd like to talk about, which sometimes yeah. I don't know what you're talking about because I just sit and watch the lecture with. <laughs> well, that's what's to learn these, isn't it? It's to put things in a simple <clears throat> way that everybody can use it. Is Uncle Danny oh, here? Oh, Danny hugs all of the company so can't come up right now. No hmm. problem, Danny. Is that Santa? Is that Santa visiting you early? That's terrible. That's what it is. A lot of our knowledge Santa's comes to Danny Wolf. White Wolf, uh, Sherry and yeah. I. A lot of our knowledge comes to Uncle Danny, as I call him. In fact, I'll make Danny well, a moderator you like to explain a wee bit about Uncle Danny's past, Sherry? 
Well, my pups is a shaman, a Celtic druid shaman. He also does uh, priest work in his in his job. He's been in the paranormal for fifty three years almost, and his channel is Chasing Bones Inspectors. Please go and check him out because he's very educational in telling you about nature and about life itself and reality. He's a very yeah. good investigator as well. He loves to go out and do investigating. He's on the book. He's, He's got other channels he's, as well uh, that he's doing yeah. exercise stuff on. That's he's a very say. uplifting and inspirational man. He, he, there's many things he does, card readings, all yes. sorts of things. So please go over and support mm-hmm. him because my pups yeah. is awesome. Well, on his Danny Wolf channel right now, he's showing you... Danny's Wolf, yeah, is the he's one, one where he does his exercises stuff. and that. So yeah, support that and interest. Chase and Bones Inspectors if you ain't got him. Yeah. Yeah, I've added uh, Danny there if he wants to post his link to his uh, all his channels. Uh, feel free, guys. Honestly, feel and everybody in here tonight, please post your channel links because when you get your channels growing to the same as us, because we're nearly at a thousand, we want to see Drew soon at a thousand. We want to see the other Drew are nearly at a thousand. Sherry, you 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 maybe at a thousand. In fact, we want to see Drew. We want to see Sherry's paranormal. She might see her at two thousand. Yeah, almost at two. Yeah, well, I hopefully that's not going to take me too long because I'm on one thousand eight hundred and ninety. <laughs> So, oh, there you go. If that was me, it'd only take you another 15 years. I always <laughs> say, pick a video and share it. Just go into our channel, pick a video, even at random, share it out, Aye. and even it's... just talk about it. Oh, you there's Shelly still there. Evening, let's see what's Hello, the message Shelley. up the night. Shelly is my best friend, guys. You'll see her on my channel. She has actually helped Evening, me do Danny. the camera work. That's what I will be saying to you. Uh, Dakota. Do you want to tell them um, we're not doing a show on this obviously Christmas Day because oh. we'll be just sitting eating cakes and biscuits and eating large turkeys and no being able to move. But we have got a pre-recorded one coming, haven't we? I we, might have. Well, we we haven't secured anything yet. Seems like yet. every time we try something this time of year, everybody goes to hell. Yeah. But that's, that's just the thing, but we'll see if we can do something for them, you know? We can maybe do something, but we'll, well try I had them. a question I was going to start off with. That could get away. a conversation going. If you would like to do that. Oh, let's, let's, let's go, let's go. I'm like, gonna, as I'm ghost hunters, right, and as witches, what we tend to do is, like, work with the four winds, right? Which, mm-hmm. in a breakdown, is really your four levels eh, of, like, earthbound, Wi-Fi, next realm, like, all your different realms, okay? So mm-hmm. to use is kind of UFO enthusiasts, as we'll call them, right? ET enthusiasts. The use feel mm-hmm. as if, like, maybe spirits are on a realm totally different to the, the ET and things, and that is why spirits have, are having a hard time with these entities being around our homes. That's one for Dakota, I'm afraid. But I think, I believe that there's, there's entities, I believe there's alien entities in the same kind of realms mm-hmm. as spirits. But I'm going to hand you over to the master here, the specialist of the strain. <laughs> it's all the same. If you've got spirits freaking out about an ET inside your house, that's not one you want around. Because yeah. I think the spirits around me are having a wee bit of a hard time with some of this stuff that's going on with ET and stuff. To be honest. Mm-hmm. Aye, but I just wondered if you, you thought that every, mean, every... There is some alien. Yeah, just wanted not to get too deeply into it tonight, obviously, because this is to be fun, but it was just to see if what you were yeah. technically thought, well, talk whether it. like everything's on the same realm or different realms, and this is why... They don't all clash. Oh, they're, they're, all realms. Realms. they're all on different realms, but they yeah. all intertwine, so yeah. they can come across each other and bump into each other. And mm-hmm. um, you know, maybe like your energies of the spirits in your house have been uncomfortable because the energy that has been around you's not been so good. The one that was around mm-hmm. you. So yes, yeah, so like my guy is here with me, and my spirits are perfectly fine with him. It's like they know each yeah. other and they talk and they get on perfectly fine. 
I was just curious because honest, I mean, all the different realms is interesting. We're on our own realm, obviously, you know. Well, yeah. Obviously, like as we know, not every person sees a spirit. Not every spirit sees every person. It's the same with them. Not every alien is going to see every spirit. Just as the same vice versa. Yeah, that's what. I, yeah, I kind of thought that, but I was just I sitting thinking. I thought it's an interesting question to start, start a conversation well, up with. He's yeah. Scottish. I'm just going to say, he's Scottish. Out, look at I. But you got to remember, like, let's take the yeah, Roswell yeah, incident, yeah. right? They say that they say the aliens for the Roswell incident don't. They came from a different dimension. Right. Right. So that's what I was. So thinking. you think, <clears throat> right, So you think about all the different dimensions. I mean, right, let's take it this way. Let, let's imagine this right now. They say there's infinite amount of different worlds to your world. So you're sitting in your house. You could be a millionaire somewhere. There's an infinite possibilities of what we, everyone is has got an infinite, infinite different amount of people. The same as us, like, but infinitely. So you think about the different dimensions, right? So if it's the same for us, they've got an infinite different amount of dimensions. Yeah. And then you come into like, the spiritual world. Is it the same for them? Yeah. It's never ending. It's like, I will say this though the, the entity was with you, it's not there anymore because I can feel it. No, that. it's not here. And Sherry, can you, can you sense that too? I yeah, it's a lot more calmer. I don't it feel that she's as stressed out either. She was yeah. the other day. She weren't very happy the other day. But yeah, I had to have a school search. <laughs> so we'll get into that another yeah. time. This is a Christmassy one. We'll do that another day. That Aye. Um, so, what else would you like to talk about tonight and to the, the magical world of spirits? How bloody cold you, it is in Scotland. This is unnatural. Oh, but that's normal. It's, I like this weather. I, I find it's, it's refreshing. It's I refreshing think because to we had such a warm summer, but I think because I we had such a warm summer that the winter's really cold right now. Aye, but the thing in Scotland is, if we see the sun for longer than a, uh, two days, we think that's summertime for us. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've seen I've seen people putting paddling pools in their back garden before. <coughs> for sure. Mm-hmm. The snow is just lifting from the mountains and people are running about with t-shirts and bikinis on. That's Scotland for you. That's thing we need to see is you in a bikini there, Chris. Well, I'm not talking about me personally, but, but if they go, you know, I don't know what you're up to, you know? But, Cherry, why don't you tell us a wee bit about what, what your beliefs are at Christmas today with Ken, Ken Pagan and all they kind of things? Mm. So obviously, like for us, like um, Christmas is is Yule, um, which yes. is celebrate Yule. Um, mm-hmm. So lots of tinsel and lots of nuts and sweets and treats, uh, you know, wines and things like that, like Christmassy biscuits and stuff that we all make up and. On that day as well, we also make a meal where we would offer it to the spirits and to our ancestors as well. And um, I do that every year on, at your. I'll make a, a full roast dinner, even though it's me here, and put it out for them. And then after, yeah. my dog gets it. So all of us are, are happy. Okay, so <laughs> I'll make the I'll make the food, make the puddings and stuff like that. And um, I cook. I, I listen to music. I just spend that day celebrating with the spirits and celebrating with my ancestors, really, because I don't really celebrate it with anybody else. So I'll get up in the morning and I'll light my altars and I'll pray and thank Mother Earth, Mother Nature and the Lord for all that I'm blessed with. Then I'll come in and make sure my Christmas tree lights and everything's on and make sure the music's on and I'll start preparing food and just having a couple of drinks and getting happy mm. normally in the evening <laughs> in the evening i do like to do a ritual mm. where i can give my thank yous for this year to mother earth and mother nature to the lord and to welcome up obviously we've already welcomed our new year, new year but get ready to welcome the new year in the british prospect so obviously mm. i'm pagan so even though i say that i'm pagan because i believe in some of the beliefs i don't follow things like copings and stuff like that so to be honest, they're a lot like the, like witches. It's Yule and uh, celebrating and, and expressing 
the gratitude. My belief in Christmas is a time to remember your loved ones that you don't have and to remember the people yeah. that you do have and to be together and to be happy <clears throat> to um, to just show love and gratitude. It's about giving. A lot of people forget that Christmas isn't about what you get. That Christmas yeah. is about love <clears throat> and respect and it's, it's about being there for each other. You know, too many people get lost in the presents and everything that they want to get, mobile phones, whatever else. They forget that yeah. the, the real reason for it, the, you know, the, the birth of the Lord and, you know, the birth yeah. of um, religions and faiths and, you know, it's about family, it's about time together. And that's what people, no, I think people should start remembering again. But that's the thing nowadays, modern times, I mean, Christmas isn't really like what it used to be. I mean, I can remember, obviously I'm not a wee boy anymore, I'm 40 years old, right? I can remember getting all excited, you know, the week coming up to Christmas used to like, take forever, and it was probably the same for you as, right? The run young. up to Christmas is what it's all about to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the different things, of like the prayer on the tree and things is, the, is what I look forward to each year. Every year. You know, when you're putting your train stuff up, you're putting your intentions into how you feel yeah. and into the world and into the people. You know, you're bringing joyful and happy, happy emotions. That's what yeah. Christmas I mean, that's should be. The Yule, and a lot, like, the there's a lot of people forgetting out. what Christmas really is. Now that now it's all about who can get the best phone and who's got the best, you yeah, know, that's the... of clothing. And, and, and that's not what yeah. Christmas is. It isn't. All. I mean... I know the someone thing spent... we're doing the Christmas tree is to do with the yoga log and putting it on the fire and getting the place cosy and things. See, that's, that's the thing. That's what I like. Yeah. I, that, that is the thing in sitting and meeting sitting your I'd family love a cold afterwards fire on to Christmas do it Day. Over. But that's the thing. I know someone that spent thousands and thousands on their cat. I, I don't see the point of that. I don't. I, I just don't see the point of uh, like spending thousands. Well, don't get me wrong. It's nice to buy your family and people presents no. and stuff. But you don't need to go nuts. It's about being together and being happy. That's what what Christmas should what be that? like. Drew's saying it's what it's the up Christmas. It's, it's getting <laughs> something full. It's, it's something blew up. up. Something blew up. up. <laughs> you not just the glass table or something? Did you guys in the chat hear that? Sorry about that. I was like, what the? the hell was that? I thought it was a glass table. Did you know you that? It was just a boom. Was that in Drew's? No, it mm -hmm. was in uh, oh, no, I think I it was in Bob through. Yeah. I hope he's okay. I hope his wife's oh, okay. I that nothing's happened. Right, I was what like, happened? I heard kids kicking around over there, so it doesn't exactly sound good. It sounded it sound like, like a blooming somebody set off a firework in the living room. Well, hope they're okay. That sounds like bum right now. Do you want me to jump across the screen and go see? No, no, no. I'll put my head down. <laughs> but I'm, <laughs> you know? But here's, the, wow. <laughs> but here's the thing, actually. See, see, Christmas. Is Christmas not a pagan thing anyway? Because that, it began yeah, with pagan. It began with pagan. That's the thing. Yeah, pagan, 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 Christmas is People a pagan. There's seven days of Christmas. It's young. It's the 12 days of Christmas Aye. or the 23 days of Christmas. Because pagan, pagans will intend so to so celebrate so. twenty like the uh, whole month of um, Christmas, your whatever you like to call it. So Aye. it's all just about getting different decorations, putting the tree up, getting different foods organised, putting recipes together, doing prayers and blessings, yeah. and just putting that love out there, decorating, making yourself feel good, yeah. putting intentions into your food that you're making as well, putting your loving intentions into the old doing all of your pastries when you're making your soups or whatever you're going to be doing. You're putting that intention in. It's about welcoming the new year. It's about starting fresh again. It's, it's getting rid of the old and bringing in the new. It's there's just so many things. Yeah, yeah. it's very important. It's. I was just going to say it, like in the chat. Welcome, Dobby well, Sock, and he thinking of others. Can I think? Can I say, what's that? What's that? Thinking of others, my friends. Hello, oh, happy yeah, to talk. Has yeah. he got something wrong with his throat or something? Is he got the cold or something? Oh, you know well thinking. You know well. Hope you get better, my friends, for Christmas. Sending you blessings, um, you love. I hope. Um, yes, but they does look I think a lot of people in our faith either like the Halloween tradition, which is obviously Samhain, or the or they like the 
you'll want because that's that's yeah. one of our most important as well. Here's a question for the winter. Here's a question: oh, Is there any spells that you do on Christmas Eve or Christmas? See, to me, it's not about the day. Thing, no. Christmas Day is not important to me for any of our traditions. It's maybe Christmas night because you lay out a meal for your loved ones and things, and you share your Christmas dinner with the spirits that's around you and your ancestors and things. But to me, it's, it is actually all to do with the run up to Christmas and what each tradition means. So Christmas Day, yeah, I, I like that, but. Mm, Hmm. The, the meals and things no. is Sherry, but it's not. Do you do any magical well, like, for, like for me for Christmas what? Day I will do Manifest. my ancestral I will do my ancestral um blessing yeah. and ritual to See everything's uh, supposed to be done by this time them. of year. This is the time where you're supposed to sit back and rest and see yeah. your harvest all around you. That is why you do boxes you do of chocolate during yeah. the year. Do you understand? We're, a wee bit yeah. now. We're not supposed to do any spell work or anything at this time of year. This is our resting time. A question for Living History Mysteries. What was that bang? Is <laughs> everyone okay? Is everybody that's okay? A, that's a very good... It's a very good question. I, I, I ran outside and looked to the south of the house and... My wife's friend's place was just covered in smoke, and it was slowly drifting to the east. And I'm like, oh, hell, he's always working on something out in this garage, including half-stick dynamite firecrackers. Oh, dear Maybe God. something blew up. Oh, dude, you need to see the lot beside their house. There's craters out there that are that big around and that deep, oh, wow. or they'll light them and throw them out there, and they shake the ground. But I, I, oh. I, I went out there. I just ran out there. I was going to run down the road, and I, all of a sudden I heard him fire up his air compressor, start blowing the smoke out of the garage. So <laughs> they're all still alive. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. But yeah, they oh. say like um yeah like December is supposed to be rest, but some witches do still do their uh, their rituals and their spells and give their yeah. faces and I always do like to do my ancestral no. call out to them when I'm when on special occasions I always do that and I'll do blessings and give them love and things yeah, like that. Yeah, that's the thing and, I have. Um, really like I do. see, I see, it's a full moon tonight. I see it's a, a perfect full moon. Did you not think I the moon was to be the bigger tonight? Every single, every single month that there's a full moon old ritual, it doesn't matter if it's Christmas or not, because, yeah. uh, you know, Chris, it does it. Your face see, never that, stops. Uh, that, everything that we do it anyway. Every month. Uh-huh. It just yeah. makes that a wee bit more special because the winter solstice is on the 21st. I mean, that makes that a wee bit more special this month because you've got the winter solstice yeah. in the, the season. Which just means really that you celebrate the beginning of the new harvest, the new festivals yeah. and things of life. Yeah. A witch's job is never done, Christopher. We do know, things every day. Doing your this is, when, this is why we do the things we do, so we can have the finer things in life. Help give to our family, give to our ancestors. We're resting. Yeah. We've manifested. Well, I tell you what. Here's a question I've wanted to ask working for a long time. What would you say was the most useful spell ever made? God, sis, what do you think? Mm. The gift of life, of course. I think, yeah, is life that? is the best, like, the best source of um, spell, but... Um, mm. There's nothing better than wishing you had a grandkid, and then that's kind of, like, manifesting as well. Then you can get a grandkid. We could do it for you. To be honest, there is a, there, is, there isn't there isn't a spell that I have that I think's my favourite or anything like that. I I love every spell that I do, and they're, they're all for different reasons and stuff. So I can't really say what I think's my most favourite. It's all. They all it's mean different things. They're, they're all different things. That, so they all yeah. mean different things. You know. So. You get the privilege, no matter what sort of spell it is, mm-hmm. because you know you're helping somebody else and you're helping the planet. And yeah, the difference between um, spell work and ritual spell work is more like targeted at a specific reason, and then and then you, but that's obviously a kind of ritual within itself. But 
the rituals that you do where you honour your goddess and things like that, they're the most important and the most powerful because they're the ones that you're giving back your thanks and you're asking for your future desires and things. So your rituals are more important than your spell work. Here's an interesting question for say living history and you can all you can all answer this too. At Christmas for see when you go ghost hunting and stuff like that, you and you go to like a battlefield for mm-hmm. instance, do you not think the energies come out more and more around about Christmas? Because it is the time for families and the ones that have been maybe killed in battlefields or the ones that's been killed in battles or mm-hmm. spirits and region will be, they know it's coming up to Christmas. Do you, what, what do you think about that? I've noticed just this year since the investigations were uh, few and far between last year uh, with obviously everything going on, people being separated and quarantined and staying locked down. I've noticed this year with people being more communal, that things have been more active. And yes, the closer we get uh, to the holidays, I, well, like we done our investigation last week, and it was very, very active because they had just decorated the, they call it a castle. Here it's a great big mansion. Yeah. But uh, Henderson Castle in Kalamazoo, Michigan, a uh, 25-room house, been around since 1899. It's a bed and breakfast now. They just decorated it for Christmas. And we had a very good investigation um, out there. Things seemed very uh, a lot more active than what they normally would be. Yeah, the spirits must get excited when you start decorating their house and things. It's, it's an it effort, wasn't it? It, it, <laughs> it, it, makes, it makes you wonder that. I mean, Dakota, what's, what's your thoughts on this? My fault. It's the fact this time of year makes everybody want to kill each other more than spirits. Are saying, <laughs> That's, Why? Very oh, no! <laughs> That's very true. You think well, there is more domestic violence, I suppose. Uh, that's what I was just about to say. Jealousy over Christmas trees or Facebook is worse for it. People putting their trees up. I, Dakota brings up a really, really good point. Um, not, not for the same reason. I'm not going to side with him on this. Understand? <laughs> uh-huh. But we've been we mm-hmm, we've been waiting on an investigation for several weeks now. And we had a meeting with the people, or we were going to have a meeting with them here a few weeks ago, and something personal came up. They couldn't, they couldn't do it. Well, these folks own a very, very old bar in a, in a, a, a town local to us, only about nine miles away. They've been in business for 20, 22 years. And the, here recently they start having a lot of, activity in the bar. I mean, they've had activity since they've owned it, but nothing like here recently. Yeah. And all the guys are like, you know, because we, we not only have Living History's Mysteries, but uh, Living History Mysteries is one of several groups in the Midwest Parahistoric Society. Yep. And a lot of the other guys are, are coming at us and they're like, are coming at me. And they're like, have you got back a hold of them yet? Have you got back a hold of them yet? And I, I, I've been trying to tell them, this is the time of the year when the single people, the people that don't have money to do Christmas, widows and widowers, all go to the bar to associate with other people, to have the Christmas dinner and stuff that they offer every year. And they, they're too busy to do it right now. So in a sense, you know, Dakota is right that, you know, people go ape shit crazy uh, during the Christmas holidays. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> wanting to kill each other, eh, only only on uh, only on um, Black, Black Friday. That, that's it. Yeah. 
It's well, from I'm the end of August shopping. October to the beginning of November. So right. I have law enforcement contacts that can verify this. People are wanting to either kill each other or end themselves. It never fails. Oh. Too much eggnog. No. Taxes. Mother-in-laws. Well, you know, it's, 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 it's really going to... It's, it's, go on. When you go, when you, when you go, Marvin has to say when you go. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, um, <laughs> with, with with every with everything that's happened with my channel in the last month, you know, I've I've really lost a lot of that Christmas spirit because this was all stuff that's out of my control. This, you know, uh, as near as we can understand, the person that did this to us. Was jealous because when we went when we went from history and paranormal to only paranormal, that's when we really started to grow. And you know, two hundred, three hundred subscribers a month, and then all of a sudden, in a week and a half, three copyright rights, and all three of them had the same email address latched to them. So this was somebody who didn't want us there. So not only did I lose over 4,000 subscribers and over 900 videos, but I lost my only income. So there's not going to be a Christmas in our house this year. You know, but plain I think and simple. Com- I be- drew, drew, and I've lost... I oh, we're coming we back. We're, back. We're like 100 and... No. We're like 113, 114 people now. I've only had the new channel for a week. But, you know, it, yeah. it's hard to make the ch- the kids understand why there's not going to be a Santa Claus isn't coming this year. You know, it, it, that, that's the yes, hardest I, thing. You know, my, my wife supports our family. My 200 some odd dollars a month I was making before. That didn't do a lot of supporting. That supported my channel. That supported my studio. That supported my habit. And those are things that my wife didn't have to do anymore. Now it's all fallen back into her lap again to take care of the family until I can get monetized again. So I, I kind of lost a little bit of that Christmas spirit because Christmas has always been magical for me. I didn't. I didn't wait for Santa Claus to come on Christmas morning. When I grew up, I wanted to be Santa Claus, <laughs> and, and I, I, I always am Santa Claus every year. I mean, that's the. It's the There's dream my job. Coat. I mean, huh? that's the dream job. It's the dream job when you think about it being Santa Claus. You only work one day a year, right? And every house you go to, you get a glass of milk or a glass of sherry or a glass of whiskey and large selection of Christmas pies. I mean, who would they want a job like that? Look at Dakota, he's thinking the new... I wonder if I could apply for that. I, <laughs> I, I, I personally prefer the little cakes with peppermint frosting and eggnog. Oh. But, I mean, that's just oh. me. Oh. Eggnog, ladies. I suppose I'm tolerant and diabetes. Yeah. Walking by the I can can every time. I think... I, I'm telling you, that's that. That's that. I'm telling you, as we go for the night... Every, every one of us have got to be looking for the perfect I'm telling you, can you imagine doing that one job a year? And all the food you could ever want, cakes, good God. I'm quite sure Mrs. Claus has to took, has took the reins a few Christmases. Aye, but I don't know, Sherry, Sherry, Mrs. Claus, you're Mrs. Claus. Definitely Mrs. Claus. Yes. How's, how's Mr. Claus this weather? Because you're looking very... I don't know. Well, he's not here at the minute. He's making the toys. See, see that's does. The way making toys, you know. He's making the toys. Toys. You know, the coat is one of the old I just, I can't can't get over the fact. Say what sort of toy? (laughs) Any sort of toy you could dream of, Dakota. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. Dobby sucks. You have got to try it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it uh, it's almost like a very, very uh, 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 thick, sweet cream. Uh, mm. it, it's it's so good. Oh, my God, it's good. I wait every year for eggnog to come out. 
There's something I was I've on never Wilson tried. Hounds live chat and I was asking them how you, how, I think they were talking about eggnog and they were telling them that you can put alcohol in it or not alcohol, so that'd be interesting. I went to buy some, right, and the only place I could buy it was Amazon, right? Nine ninety nine for 700 mils of this stuff. I was like, what? What, really? I, what actually <laughs> is it? So it's yellow. My, uh, my Bailey's, my Irish cream. Is it put an Irish cream? Yes. I mean, what oh, actually is eggnog? Is it egg? Is there eggs in it? It, it has, it has egg, egg in it. Big juicy wabble. Cinnamon. Is it got cinnamon in it? It looks like yeah, there's cinnamon. Something. There's a little bit of cinnamon in it and stuff. Um, the best way, like I said, the best way to describe it's how I did to Dobby. Uh, it, it's almost like a, it's not a really thick, heavy cream, but it's a, uh, it's heavier than milk. Um, You're the porn hub he- Heavier than milk, not as heavy as cream, very sweet. Um, okay. But it's just a, a thick, creamy drink. And, I mean, you yeah. can add cinnamon to it, you can add peppermint to it, yeah. you can add liquor to it. I just See, cannot you believe you that. can't buy it in your market. Over there, yeah. Does it eggnog the came or? from the UK. Well, I'm going to buy the powder I've, 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 next I've year. I've had eggnog. I've, I've had, never um, tasted it. I'd never tasted it until like seven years ago, but I only had it then once when I was at my friend's house. That was all right. I think it's not really, not really my sort of. You just put put that drink. Yeah, we'll drink to me. Not my sort of the cream on it. What other Christmas? What other Christmas delights do you like in Christmas? What's the what's the, what's, what's the, the tastiest thing that you look forward to Christmas? There's the quote you tell me. My cocoa. Coco. <sighs> coco. My, oh, my cocoa. I make. Uh, yep, I make cocoa every year for the family with whipped cream on it and peppermint sprinkled on top of it. I oh, I break up peppermint good. sticks and melt it in the hot cocoa. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. That does sound really good. What about you, Drew? What's your favourite? Christmas Eve, because that's when you get your cocoa out and your marshmallows and sit with mm. Christmas movie and your new pyjamas. Talking about Christmas, right? Do you know that Christmas is a time of year when they tell ghost stories? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I've actually... We're actually doing something for... you, Drew, actually... Uh, Love of History Comes Alive actually did what, uh, what, the other day there was at Krampus and that's what we're going to be doing yeah. on Wednesday because I've, I've got loads of like, photos and stuff like that and like stories we've got to talk through and stuff on Wednesday just for some you know uh, before Christmas but Drew from Living History can you tell us something about Krampus because you know I know God what could I tell uh, for those of you that don't know Krampus is, um, he, he's, a, he's a Germanic legend um, where, where Santa Claus brings toys and gifts and, and candies and stuff to good little boys and girls. Krampus comes after Santa and punishes bad kids, um, depending upon how much you want to scare the hell out of your children. He will either spank them with a, with a whip, or he will spank them with a uh, a gad, a, a, a branch of a tree. Um, sometimes he kidnaps them and takes them back to his castle. Uh, sometimes he eats them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's all kinds of legends about it. I I mean, what I found was I found it very interesting. Is it is any is he seen Krampus the movie? When he what? comes, he's dressed kind of like Santa Claus, mm-hmm. but he's got horns in his head. But it's actually a German thing, isn't it? It's like a, it goes way back to like really early in the German history period, mm-hmm. where he would just come along and all the bad kids, he would take away the bad kids, basically. See, in Germany, I, well, don't, uh, I don't know if they're doing uh, it. It's like I said at the end of my video and my outro, it's like, well, at least now we know why German children are so much better behaved than American children. <laughs> because yeah. a scared child is a well-behaved child. Do you not see that? Be- be- yeah, they, <laughs> they get the crap scared out of them. Here, that's considered mental abuse, and you lose your kids for it. 
So, <laughs> well, uh -huh. I mean, I've 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 actually seen things. I watched a documentary about it on TV about Krampus actually, right? And they went to Germany, and before Christmas, the two days before Christmas, they did like a parade through certain towns, and it's Krampus. So you basically a serial killer at Christmas. It's see some of the stories. One of the stories for the see for the I would say seventeen hundreds to eighteen hundreds. I read one of the stories, right? And I was like, holy shit! I was like, see that one they be even allowed to tell the kids now because it was that bad, right? Mm -hmm. See now it's been dumbed down. It's been like numbed down. Okay, I mean it's been they've taken the whips with it and the the bag, taking them back to hell and stuff like that. But I, I know a lot of people that do a lot of Christmas, uh, like do a lot of ghost stories, mostly on Christmas Eve. It was they sit with a log fire and they talk about, talk about it. Like, mm -hmm. that, that's you because you've blown all them wee ones to get in bed and cover their head up. Aye. Aye. So Sherry, oh. do you know any ghostless tales of Christmas past? When you, obviously when you've been talking to Santa Claus. My mum always started her ghost stories like that. It was a dark and stormy night. We mm -hmm. met sat by a fire. Then yeah. you'd run before she told the story because you were that creeped out. To, no, to be honest, um, a lot of like the spirit stories and stuff like around here, they're all like related to like the whole year round and stuff. Like there isn't a specific story like I can put to tea around here. That's based around Christmas. Um, the only one that I could is obviously the Christmas Carol, like the three spirits that uh, visit Ebenezer Scrooge, and that's my most favouriteest, I guess, ghost story because it is a ghost story yeah. because it, yeah. you know it's about him and not liking Christmas. Then it becomes obviously a He's fan of Christmas after Christmas past and Christmas future, Christmas Christmas present actually shows yeah. him. Um, you know, the true value of the life and what it should be like and that yeah. he's been selfish and, you know, I like that film because it, <laughs> it learns you about value and it learns you not to be greedy and that you should give to others that are less fortunate yeah. unfortunate, sorry um, and then um, and then in the other way it's a ghost story, isn't it? Like they, they, There's like stories that have carried on from that that you're meant to be able to hear um, the, the chains of his friend when he's walking the corridors. Mm -hmm. and, Ghost and you see, you can see the spirits come at certain times of, like a certain time at night, midnight, the first one I think it is, and then it's midnight, then it, I think it's, through, uh, it's uh, like half two, then like just after three o'clock, there's like three yeah. different spirits. It's between twelve yes. and three. He sees all the spirits. And the last one, the last one is that was it the Christmas? Ed, what's the last one? It's like the Green Reaper. You got you have got Christmas past, Christmas future, and Christmas present. I'm just thinking. I'm just Christmas thinking. Dakota will be sat in Christmas Eve with his cover up to his eyes, face. looking around him. You know. For the well, chain, he, 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 he went like he went through the whole year being stubborn and not doing all his best, didn't he? And then he had to yeah. learn a lesson. So the whole point was that these spirits were, were showing him what he could, his life could end up being like. So he could either be liked and be respected right. and be loved, mm -hmm. and you He's know, be around his family, yeah. or he could just grow, grow like die an old lonely man that was bitter and twisted right. that's kind of what they were trying to show him they saved his soul though they saved his soul basically because he knew if he kept continued in the road he was on he was going to go to hell when he died because he, the way yeah, he was that was the ultimatum that was it was either he learns his way or, or he continues <coughs> down the path that he was going down so um, obviously after having the lovely visit from all three of the spirits yeah his attitude changed. He woke up the next day on Christmas Day telling a young boy to go to the butchers and get him <laughs> the biggest goose he had. You know, like everything changed. And he took that to his worker. He took the goose to his worker that didn't have no food, which was That's little, right. little John's tiny Tom. family. Big, tiny Tom died, didn't he? Tiny Tom died. And um, right. he, took the, he took the food round to the family and celebrated. And he went round to see his family, which he hadn't done for years. Yeah. 
Yeah, Terry, you didn't tell us that Santa was coming the day. Oh, well, we do, look. Oh, yeah. 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 Mr. Santa Claus is here, guys. It's, it took vocation for I know. a couple of hours. He's, he's, he's left to his men's pies. He's left yeah. to his men's pies you and hot chocolate. And it's not drunk enough. And, I know. You think about it, by the way, Santa Claus is bound to get really past it when he's on his journey. You think about all these sherries and whiskies. Isn't and that what Jolly originally meant, was drunk? So if you think about it, we have all these little kids saying Christmas carols about some big fat drunk guy breaking into their house and leaving them presents because he felt bad so no one would call the cops. <laughs> 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 we've got, we have got to... an Ebenezer screwed before we uh, he transformed clearly and that's what it does you know it's oh my god it's Santa Claus so Dakota what do you want for what do you want for Christmas oh, no. you want to sit in Drew's lap and tell him what you want for Christmas no Okay, Neil, let's see. You know, I you, don't think Paul uh, go for a ho ho ho, but that's about it. You know, he's, he's about to have, he's out to have a dream that he's wanting, right? So, Sherry, I'm going to ask you straight up right now what's your dream that you want right now? To be with my man. Right. Oh, yeah, oh. deal. But it'll happen. You'll get there and you'll get to America. <coughs> I will. And, and you know, you. I'm waiting my time out. So, like, that, to be honest, there isn't uh, there isn't anything I, apart from that, him. You know, there isn't anything I want. You know, like, um, it's really hard for me to celebrate Christmas because I don't have my children and stuff around me. So Christmas is quite a difficult time for me. So I, I intend to just, yeah. like, like I said, make it about me in the spirits. So, well, I've got a prediction. You will be there soon in the next oh three yeah, March, months. March. Dakota, if you did anything right now, what would it be? Get off this planet. Oh. Get off! Get off! Let go I'll go to Living History Comes Alive. If you did any wish come true when Christmas, Bye. Living History, what would it be? I don't know. That's a really good question. That's a really good question. I've not given it. I've not given it much thought. I've not given it much thought. That with everything going on, I've, I've I've put myself aside. See, I had plans this year. I was actually going to adopt a new family this year. And with everything that happened, not only did they not only did they screw my family out of Christmas, they screwed another needy family out of Christmas. So, you know, it's taking everything I got to get or to stay at Christmas spirit for, for my viewers, for my friends, for my family, for my community. And your community I think, was a big bang at your neighbors. They might yeah, but, home. but you. You, you gotta understand, Mike. My, my, I live in a live in such a small village here. Yeah. Literally, you you count my downtown and my rural area. It's less than a mile by by a mile. Right. It's. I mean, it is a wee tiny little place. And <laughs> here here we have a we have a term here that we use quite frequently. It's called redneck. And that, that's what a lot of uh, that's what a lot of our village is is rednecks playing with dynamite, making firecrackers, you know. Yeah. Oh, is it maybe and something that fun loving people? I hope they're okay. Oh yeah, they're fine. Yes. They're fine. They were outside, still working. Right. Okay, that's good. <laughs> but if I had to, if I had to pick something, I would yeah. want to see everybody happy. Yeah. yeah. See all the fighting and stuff stop for a little bit. You know there was a there's a there's a famous song and it's based on a real story during World War II. Yeah. And it also there's there's stories of it coming from the Civil War. 
where on Christmas Eve, men laid down their guns. That's right. Uh-huh. And if you'll remember right, it was German and the Allied forces that sang Silent Night together yeah. on Christmas Eve. In in the in the V or in the uh, Civil War, there are stories of men just walking out to the middle of a of a field, and okay, well, you need some tobacco here. Here's a bag of tobacco. Oh, you need some coffee. Well, here, my friend, here's some coffee, and you know, Merry Christmas. Yeah. They would turn around and go back to their units and start. Fighting again at dawn on Christmas Day, but yeah. I mean, I would like I would like to see that kind. If two men who are bound and damn determined to blow each other's brains out on the battlefield, yeah. or if two thousand men can stop long enough to sing an ageless song and, and play for a few minutes together and laugh for a few minutes together then anybody can do it. It don't matter what color you are. It don't matter what nationality you are. It don't matter what language you speak. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're 100%, you're 100% right. What's that? Is, is what there a question the in the chat? Question? Uh, no, oh, well, the question was, if you had to have anything in Christmas Day, what would it be, Drew? All right. What would it be? I suppose good health, doesn't it, really? You know, everybody wishes that, that they can stay here a little bit longer. Imagine you, could, imagine you could have anything you wanted, but you could only have one thing. What yeah. Mm, I think it would be good health to everybody in the family, if it was a thing you could pick like yeah. that. Good health yeah. to everybody. Because everybody deserves to have good health, and then what, the, what other choices they make is their own choice. Yeah. But it's... It's uh, that one, living history. That's a good one. To stop all wars because the world is going mad. Think about it. I mean, the world is going mad. You just need to look at Russia, the new over Ukraine and stuff like that. And, and Dakota, he wants off the planet. You might get your, you might get your wish tonight, Dakota. Oh, according to my K two, that this might happen. So, Kate, Dakota, the have, you you have you? Have you? If you get your camera down, I feel like I'm strained because I'm looking up at you. You know. It's... Well, I'm almost seven feet tall in real life, so get used to it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I'm six seven foot feet seven. seven. My God. But you now God. realize it, right? I mean, you don't, you don't really do my size. Because you're, you're, to me, you're only really like that size. But here, you know, you're only, like, you're really only a bit. Well, I know what easy. Dakota wants for Whoa. Christmas. A six foot six oh, woman. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, hey, living history, living history. He's he's in the stars. He's probably already got that. I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, and I think there's a baby number three. <laughs> <laughs> but he knows all, you know. Uh, but you know, it's uh, Christmas. As it's true, it's it's time to be for your family and friends and stuff. Maybe that's why Dakota looks like that, so you can draw on what you like. Yeah. You know, drawing what ah. colour of hair you like, oh, oh. what colour. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's in the chat. My brother's in the chat and he's just put... That's my no, brother. I'm lying down. <laughs> it looks yeah. like the guy from the step... The step. <laughs> yeah, so you can draw actually on what you like. Big eyebrows. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, that is actually... I've just had a vision. <laughs> I bet what you want hair like me. <laughs> Ah, oh, dear God. You, you know, in Dakota, women like bad guys. So I think if you put on the right hat and the right glasses, you look like Walter White. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Very handsome, boy. Oh, good. A very handsome Walter well, White, but Walter White Dakota nonetheless. The quarter's on TikTok and he wears a wig and thing, and he's actually pretty funny. I know. 
I, I've oh never seen God. Dakota on TikTok. I didn't know Dakota yeah, was on TikTok. Seen the I, have, TikTok. I have to go so subscribe to Dakota on TikTok. Yeah, Dakota's Uh-oh. on TikTok. It's my brother, my brother. Who? I'm not going to read that word out earlier. Who's what? Oh my God! Google him. You're right, bad. Dobby. Google him. Yeah, Breaking Bad. You are Google right, Dobby. I'm I'm five foot seven and a half. My dad is five foot eleven. So, you know, I kind of got screwed out of that whole tall thing. Because my wife is the same height as me, and I don't like the fact she can look me straight in the eyes. That scares the hell out of me. And I understand what you mean about that half inch being very important. Huh? <laughs> I've, got, I've got a vision of Walter White now every time I look at the core. You know, I, I so often... I so often go on investigations and people ask me, are you scared? And it's like, scared? I've died three times. I've been married twice. I ain't scared of nothing. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna, if, if I die, I'm going to go to hell. Satan's going to pop out behind a rock and go, oh, oh, shit, you've been married? Ah, yeah, crap. Well, this place ain't going to surprise you much. you got the pit of fire over here. I think the quote I get caught in the time warp where his image just went all weird. Do you know his dimensions? Oh, See, that's, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's the aliens. Cool. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming to get. They're coming for. They're coming the for you. Who's that behind? Taking his away. He's taking his away. So Sherry, what's See, the, the really cool? bad thing is that Dakota, Dakota's probably been abducted before and just don't realize he has an entire race of little Dakotas. Oh, running that's around that's on some that's alien that's world that's right now. That's probably yeah, more than the UFO man's video with the three crafts coming up out that volcano. Yeah, did you see the one above Glasgow the other day? The UFO no, above Glasgow. No. no, where is it? There's, Can I see it? It's, I'll, 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 it's showing a video which I can't show in here because right. copyright claims, okay. but I can send it to you after. Yeah. But there's a lot. The UFO stuff, talking about UFO stuff, is off the scale. Totally off the scale. Yeah, four months before one, two, three a day. There's been more UFO sightings in this last week than there has been last year. And they're just totally off the scale. Something biblical is going to happen soon. And it makes you wonder what's going on. Sherry, can you feel feel something different in the air to last year at this time of year? Because I can. I can feel Yeah, it's a lot... Like last year, I found it was very oh, yeah. depraved and very depressing, and like everything just felt very heavy. Where this yeah. this this year, it feels very energetic, very electric feeling. Like there's mm-hmm. a lot of energy around them. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, doing its thing. Yeah, I definitely feel as if there's a lot more that... activity in in UFOs and in the paranormal. I've noticed as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, was that clear, James? Yes, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Um, I mean, the UFO stuff's totally at the scale. I mean, it's ridiculously at the scale now. I mean, mm-hmm. I think I, I think something big's going to happen in the next couple of months. Well, I don't the, the think the government two, can take it long away from Going back to numerology mm-hmm. and things, okay? <clears throat> two zero two two. It's going to, oh, that's going to be your three twos, right? Which all, which in itself is something special for next year. So that's why I think a lot of things are changing right now. It's for the prepare, preparation of 2022, which is going to be totally different to anything we've ever seen. The beginning yeah. of the end. Probably a lot to do with numerology as well, because it is two zero two. Yeah. It's either, as Dakota says, it's the we're beginning of the end or it's the beginning of a new era. Oh, we're preparing. Mm-hmm. We're nearly finished. Oh, we're oh, finished. A lot of people we're get nearly... really scared when you say that, though, do they? Like, it's the beginning of the end. Like, they think that means the world's completely no, ending. When it, 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 it's not so much that the world's ending. It just the way that we've lived, the way we've been used to be it's able to have things is going to completely change. Like, it's I, not I, a lot of people thought that it was going to be like a resurrection, that 
no taking any day with religion whatsoever, one religion better than the other. But a lot of religions have believed that this year, 2021, there was going to be like an Antichrist kind of movement and things like that, which never happened. But they did know something was going to happen. It's just that it wasn't that. And this is what all these different evangelists and things have probably been sensing all these years because they don't realise that maybe they think that they're a higher being close to God. But let's say these people are really just psychic and can sense that something is coming. It's just that they're Christian and whatever else and think it's going to be the return of Jesus Christ. So <laughs> it's not, it's going, they're sensitive to the fact that the world is changing and things are definitely going to be different. It's can just you, not the, the return of Christ. Can you, can you imagine what will happen? Right, say you wake up Next year comes, you wake up one morning, you all wake up one morning, live on TV, there's UFOs, they're here, they're, they're showing their cells. Can you imagine what that's going to do for certain things? I can I can understand why the government have kept it hidden for so long, because they've maybe wanted to tell us, but you think some, what do you think about this, Dakota? Do you think there'll be a lot of fear when it happens? With religions, first of all, religions. What do you think? What do you think will happen the day one it happens? It's not going to be this big warm, warm welcome as people want. No. Or expect. If we try to claim that humanity is ready, no, we're not. Just look at how we're treating each other, how easy it is for the news media to turn us all against each other over completely <laughs> stupid things. Ronald Reagan said it years ago that it's going to take an alien threat. I don't think he was meaning literally, but at this point, we don't know. What, what? Ooh, that sounded like a punk car. <laughs> but it's, it's like, no, you imagine that you get up. Can you imagine what that will do for religion, though? Can you know, imagine what that will actually do for religion? Because there's some religions out there that are so strict, but I'm not going to mention them, right? And they only believe in what they believe in, right? And when that t- when that turns up, when the wee guy jumps at the shop and goes, "Oh, well, or whatever, I have a theory. Whatever it has, I think they would turn up. I think there'd be a lot of people questioning it. They'd be questioning their faiths and that because they've been led to yeah. believe it's not right. real. Right? What if they came with a gift of curing cancer? How would you feel about that as a human being? They wouldn't look what at how it? people treat the current situation in the world right now. Right, I have a theory, right, listen, I've knew a few people on YouTube that I've followed for a few years that has said, they've put the Astro Pilot on YouTube is a good example. Years ago, he put out a couple of videos where he had been seeing entities in his garden. He mm-hmm. also had a few experiences where he had been woke, woken up and feeling as if he had been abducted and things, right? He had also took photographs and video of the cloaking of the ETs in his garden, right? But Mm -hmm. my point being, he's been saying for years and trying to prove to people for years that he was getting abducted, he was getting, like, kind of tested because he was coming back with, like, as if there had been taken blood, maybe even tissue samples and things. Now he's getting treated for cancer. So what mm-hmm. is if the theory is that people got abducted because <clears throat> the ETs have been knowing this for years and they were going to come with a gift, maybe a curing cancer, and this is why people with illnesses and things have been abducted throughout the years, is because they've been doing the mathematicals to cure cancer when they come, or something else. That's actually quite a good thought. That is actually. Mm-hmm. But the greys, let's bring up the greys, right? The greys are well known. The greys are well known. And the reason they take humans is because they did genetic research. See the greys, they're like they're like clones. There's like one guy controls them all with a certain map. And this is this is actually you can read this stuff. It's um the greys, they're like clone after clone, that's what their race is, right? They're just a clone after clone after clone for thousands and thousands of years. 
And the reason they take humans is because it, Dakota knows more about us. I mean, they take the DNA for Dakota. Well, first off, all we need to do is look at what happened with Dolly, the sheep, and her mm-hmm. offspring, for lack of a better word. Technically, when they took the DNA samples from Dolly, cloned it to actually bring in more sheep, those sheep were born at the same age as Dolly. They have all the genetic deformities. The DNA tends to deteriorate with age. They've known this for quite some time. They're trying to figure it out. They say once you figure it out, you can technically make someone immortal. You start cloning over and over again without some sort of contingency plan. Those DNA samples are going to get ruined. See, I think that if they're going to appear, they're going to have to come with something, okay? They're going to have to come. If they're definitely peaceful, they're going to have to come with something that is going to kind of put mankind's look look on them as as different. They're going to have to prove in a kind of certain way that they're here to be peaceful. I bet something like that was a gift. Drew, if they come, I bet if they come, Drew, right, they're going to give us technology that will get rid of oil overnight. Right. Mm-hmm. They'll give us we'll we'll never need to burn another bit of fossil fuel ever again. Or mm-hmm. use nuclear ever again. For power. Mm-hmm. And I think you're right, the will cure a lot of illnesses. The will cure a lot of illnesses. UFO man's but, in the chat right now. That's what I was I was just gonna say, Merry Christmas, UFO man. I hope you have a, a lovely Christmas too. I love you, Tim and hello to Tommy as well. Happy Christmas. Welcome, guys. One of the things that's been really weighing on me lately, um, when I was, when I was very young, I was, uh, I was an uber geek. Um, when, when this new variant, and I'm not going to mention any names because, you know, I've heard that they yeah. smack your channel for you saying the word. But when yeah. this new variant came out in South Africa and the World Health Organization announced yeah. that they're going to go to South Africa, they were going to give this thing an official variant name. Yeah. I looked at my wife jokingly when they said it would probably start with the letter O. And this is honest to God. I I told her, I said, would it be funny if they named it Omicron? Yeah. And she said, why? I said, do you remember the 1987 Transformers animated movie? Yeah. Omicron was the destroyer of worlds. That's right. Mm -hmm. Travel through the universe consuming and consuming. Consuming entire worlds. And lo and behold, two days later, they announced the name as Omron. Yeah. Uh, that's, done by that's what's been weighing on my... I don't believe in coincidence. I believe everything yeah. happens for a specific reason. Yeah, of course. And, yeah. and no that sense. thought right there, the destroyer of worlds, scares the hell out of me. Yeah. Because now... Three weeks ago, this thing was stuck in South Africa. Now they're thinking about locking down the UK again. Now, now we have states in the United States that's um, bringing things up to lock down again. Everything, yeah. and that thought terrifies me. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lock down again. Sherry, when you go. Yeah. To be honest, I can. I think the world's just messed up at the minute. And, um, like, personally, I think that if they come back and that, it's get, it is simply to just try and help us to do better here. And um, I'm not saying they're all good. They're not all good. There's going to be some that try other things. But most of them want to come here because they want to help. Like, I believe that they're getting, they've got things for us in line to help us. And like you said earlier like yeah a lot of people probably will freak out at the very sight of them turning up and stuff like that but there will be a lot of people that will also be acceptance of them because you know let's face it in this world there are so many people that believe in ufos and stuff like that now that 
a lot of us will be open to it and be okay with it, but a lot of us won't be. So it's going to be divided. But I think this will be a way of making the world see in a different way, being able to become acceptance of other people and other races and other things. Yeah. Maybe this is the way to, to, maybe with them coming here, is going to make this world the way it's meant to be. Because it's going to show people yeah. that there is more to what we're educated and shown here, you know. So, I mean, in, in theory, the world, the new, the Earth, the new, should be a hundred years more advanced than it is right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's because we've been destroying it, and that. And I think that if they come back yeah. and they show, because if you think about, we've been taught and grown up to to learn that races, certain races, are not good, and you should not be like this, and you should be like this, and We've been brought up to be influenced by technology and other things, but we don't have a freedom of thinking and a freedom of speech, really. Even though we get, we talk and we speak, there is only so much that we can say and do. And I think once they come back and stuff, I think that that there's not going to be a lot that our governments and people like that are going to be able to say anymore. <laughs> I think they'll try that. I think they will try. Yeah, they will. Of course they will. With the government, of course they'll try. I mean, but people will think... wake up. People will like, well, we don't trust your words anymore. We don't trust who you yeah. are anymore. You've said all this time that we've been educated in school, we've been educated here, there, and everywhere that this isn't real. And now look at it. It's here. That's yeah, why I, mean, I think they'll come with something spectacular. It's going to put I, feel, I think that it. they're coming in they're going to change the world. I think they want yeah. to change this world. They want this world to be different. They I, they don't yeah. like the, our rulers. They don't like oh, the God, way no. that they're kept secret. That, you know, I, it wouldn't surprise me if they do try to bring another another strategy into play. They deserve the place the same as we get our place. They deserve it as well. It's, I the thing is. it's not just <laughs> our world. It's their world, no. yeah, but it's their universe. Their universe, so they deserve it. No, you see, the thing is, they've been here. They've been here before we've been here. And they're yeah. here now. They're just waiting for that opportunity. I think they're waiting for something. I don't know what it is, but they're waiting for something to happen. Dakota, do you have any ideas? For what they're wait- why, why do you think they're waiting, Dakota? They're waiting for the big one. Yeah. Simple as that. The, the thing that really terrifies me is, you know, it, it would be, it would be amazing if um, uh, an, a, a, a race from another world came here and they tried to straighten things up and they tried to give us new technologies and new medications yeah. and and things that would improve us. But I sit here as a historian and I think back through history at every great advancement we've made in medicine and every great advancement we've made in technology. And in many cases, before the inventor's even dead and gone, we have found a way to bastardize it. And in many cases, make it something evil or make it a weapon or, or something. Yeah, and and it's like okay, well, thank you to the ETs for coming here and giving us these wonderful things—the cure yeah. for cancer. That's why they're going to give us the. Us. Yeah, let's let's give them the cure for cancer. Then some pharmaceutical company is going to find some way to manipulate it, yeah. and they're only going to make it available to the super rich. See. That's, so the, the people like us that are scraping by just die. No, I, but the, if they decide to come, they're going to live among us because this is why the no, obviously did that. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is why they but, went and built their own entity, if you like, that is half ET and half man. It's so that it can survive among us. They've probably been already surviving among us. We I just don't know. What you must understand is there's millions of different races yeah. in the universe, right? In the, in, in, in the Milky Way galaxy where we are the new in the Milky Way where we are the new and all that. The, what is there the quote twenty four, twenty three different varieties of humanoid alien that just look out like us. So you've got like the Palladians that are a wee bit taller, like Dakota. They're tall, mm-hmm. they're blonde, 
they've got blue eyes, they're the Palladians, and then you've got ones that look a wee bit different. But that's what people don't realise, that there's trillions and trillions and trillions of worlds out there with life on them. Yeah. And many, many beings. And like... Yes. I understand where um, Drew living history is coming from, like when he's say, like saying about, yeah, but I'd be worried about the technology and what, what, what it'd be used for. I don't think they're going to be so forthcoming to giving that to the government and that. You yeah. think about how many times they've had to deal with our government and with our I world, and how they've been pushed aside and pushed out and things like that. You know, all of these years and all these times that they've been visiting back and forth, what do you think they've been doing? They've been, they've been getting themselves ready for this moment. So when it comes to it, there is never going to be yeah. anything that's going to be able to stand up against them. There isn't going to be. So anybody that betrays them that they don't like, like the government and people like that, if they come, are not safe because of how they've been treated by them. You know what I mean? So oh, yeah. I, I, I I believe this, I'm not saying like we're going to lose our queen and our royal family, we're going to lose this, we're going to lose that, but there is going to be big changes and... You know, these beings are a lot more forward than us um, in all sorts of things. And but when they restructure the way we are... I, I, I wouldn't be so worried about worrying where all the technology and that's going or anything, because to be quite honest, though, they've, they've probably already got this all planned out and ready. Yeah. So That is the point. If the day show their self and the day reveal who they are, they're going to be here helping us with the things, like things that the government and things like that would do. Because they're going yeah, to be they're a gonna, problem. They're going to want to wake us up. They're going to take over and teach us the ways. Treat. That's what they want. They're going to teach us the different ways to to do, the, to do these things as a community, which will be couple, with the different species of them living among us and helping us live a better life, a healthy living. Not just it's not just that, though, is it? That that's not just why they're doing it. They, they would also be coming in to do that. To show us that we have got our own minds and our own way of yeah, thinking, and that, that nobody owns us. Nobody owns us. Again, this is again this is going to sound mad, right? But you see, ever since we started talking about aliens, we're getting all the UFO folk in. That's weird, that, isn't it? I know. Because we've got the teach us a different way to live. longer. Remember, give us a subscribe, please, people, because we're only fifteen away from. One thousand. Mm -hmm. Could you the imagine that? Though? I understand that, Dobbies. That's true. The government will see them as an enemy because they're here to do good, but they already see the government as an enemy because of what they do already. So they're, they're not safe. The government wouldn't be safe. Like, you know, I'm not being funny. I trust. I would trust my life more in an, an extraterrestrial's hand than my own government. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. By far. They'll teach probably as a way to live as... Do you remember the old way of living where we all lived? I mean, Scotland especially, we all had our clans where no decision was made outside the clan. Every decision yeah. was made as a family. They're going to re reintroduce us to that way of living. Back to the way a clans, family, everything is made as a... Com the decisions are made as a community, not just two and three people that decide that this is the way to live. It's going like, to be a decision. All these aliens that are in charge, like the Galact let's bring up the Galactic Federation, right? The Galactic Federation, once we actually join them, because it will happen, mm -hmm. once they come, and that it might take a few years, it might take maybe 10, 20, 30 years or so, but eventually we'll join them. We'll be like them. And then it'll be our job to go to another world that was like this world at one point. And then that'll just happen again and again. And again, but the Earth will not be independent countries anymore. It'll be one. Africa will be one. There'll be near mere, there'll be near mere like independent countries. It'll all just be one. If you think about it, right, the Earth will be the only. There'll not be United Kingdom, there'll not be France, there'll not be Germany. They'll still it'll exist, right? Mm -hmm. But they'll know they'll how need leaders. They'll just need one leader. And I don't know how that will work. What's your thoughts on that, Dakota? You look, Dakota looks a wee bit kind of tonight as if he's been... Yeah, I don't think there will just be one leader. I think everything will be... They'll kind of live among us and 
be like you've walked down the street and you'll see them and they'll be like part of our communities and they'll teach us a new way of living. But like teeth like back to yeah. organic, back to this is all through time of course. This isn't what'll happen in the next ten years. But I do believe that I do believe there will be some sort of government sort of thing, even if it's not the way that we know government and that yeah. I do believe that they will have that sort of thing out there but yeah. They're not going to be like our government. They will, they will mingle with us, intervene with us, teach us, be, be the way that uh, uh, you know people that are meant to look after their world and their people should be. That's what they're going to be. They're going to show you all of these yeah. idiots, excuse me, that we have under over us now. <laughs> how, how it's how it sh- how it should really be done. Because let's be, let's face it, none of our government or anybody that's here <laughs> does it properly. The, the, rich, the richer get richer and the poorer get poorer. Yes. That, it won't be like that if they're here. They're killing us. That will change. I will say that. I will say this. Do you see in the last? I don't know. Sherry drew everybody here with the psychic abilities and all that. I don't know if you've noticed that there's something running about us right now. Yeah, no, just went, that's my, why all my quite, hair's just stood quite, up. That's why I've been quite quiet on here because I'm, I'm sensing Aye. energy going up. Look at Dakota. Look, look at Dakota. Dakota, look at Dakota. Just keeps Dakota said we're already here. Like. As I've been saying. Aye, they are. They're already here. I can that. They've been here for a while. They've been. I don't know what that is, but I had a terrible, terrible migraine tonight, right? I've been there, is that, there, is a very high, there's a very, very high powered energy around. I, I mean, it's just. It's just my, my migraines just went, it's just stopped the new there. It's just like stopped. It's weird that. It's like, there's something, there's something running about us right now. And I'll tell you why, because all my hair and my arms are standing up. And my dog and my is crying. So is mine. Yes. Mine's sitting near the gate, crying. Yeah. It's mine. Something, something is something as a foot, ladies and gentlemen. I think something is visiting oh, us. I've just got to chill as well. You know? Yeah, I just, I, just, I go to day, it's like, a, it's like, it's weird, it's right like, down it's like spine, freezing, co- yeah, it's like freezing, freezing cold, but it's not a bad thing, it's like a... No, it it's not nasty, but that was, I think that it's was because, oh, it's cold, that was, I was like, oh my god, it's a bit... I think there's, I think that yeah. here, because we're talking about them, and I think some of the people in the chat know who they think they are. But if you think about it, when, when you speak about them, that it's like inviting them, isn't it? Because you're opening yourself to them, you're talking about them, they're hearing this, that's going to be the world. Well, if they're talking about us, then we might as well just right. show up. See, look at that, Claire James in the chat, she's saying that she's just a child, plus her dog is very unsettled and crying. Yeah. I thought it was because Liam wasn't in, but Liam's in now and she's still doing it. Yeah, yeah. I can feel it. Now, that, that was weird. That. I got a weird tone in the ear, and then my migraine was really, really bad. And then all of a sudden, when Dakota started going wonky, I've got it a just my went, blanket over my legs. So I've gone chilly. It just dissipated. It just left my, 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 my migraine just disappeared and that's unusual because it usually takes two days to go away so Dakota do you want to, do you want to tell us anything see your series of came all these galaxies away to speak to us what's, what's your message for humanity we're listening Merry Christmas well me and me and Mr Father Christmas down there has come all the way from Lapland to hear what you've got to say I know now come on you're, you're here obviously right now, you know. Do you know what it tells them? Or you just want to sit there, looking over my stick all came oh. from the ice palace. You know. What's that? Dobby's world, governments are true, the evils are ever. Yep, true, there's Black Dragon. You know. So, he's, Dakota, he's got some, he's got got something in him, isn't he? Or Black Dragon. I think I the think that something's going to happen, but I don't think it will happen while it's live, because I don't think they like to talk on a live. That's very true, Black Dragon. They are the true evil in the world, definitely. It's, yeah, it's. So you have to be really careful aliens. because I mean, you've got to ask yourself why now, right? Because so it's if been things in the world has gone that bad, you've got to kind of trust them and go with it because they're no going to come and help us or do what they're going to do. They would have did it by now. There's obviously a reason 
And it's, yes, it has be. to be to help us. Because they would have harmed us by now if they were going it. They could easily wipe us out. Exactly. Like I have got all that technology, energy, and everything, technology, everything there. They could do that, do that within. It's quite interesting. You know what I mean? Not, aliens here. Pop they're them. not coming here to end no. us. They're coming here because they want to help, but it's not going to be something that's just going to happen overnight. It's going to no, take no. time to build up. I think if we were it's, here in a hundred year time, we would see a big difference. Yeah. If, if well, you'll you don't see come difference away, straight away. Yeah. You will see difference <laughs> in our time, but it, it's just going to take. It takes time, you know. Like well, they say here and... that movies always mimic time. Yeah. I mean, and if you yeah, go back that's... all the different movies, there was what that was one, two thousand and twenty-one or something. There was a movie of two thousand and one or something. And everything is always as reality. I mean, there's black dragons. Yeah, there's black dragons. There's there's always is. Yeah, yeah, it's hanging around all of us, yeah. I can feel there's it. an energy I between can... me and Sherry as, as it is, and then there's an energy between me and Chris as it is. So all these different who, energies I know who's here right now, I'm, I'm, I'm not letting them in. I know who's here right now. I know who he is. I know where he's from, but I'm not letting them in right now. I can hear him. I can feel him. But Dakota's already let him in, haven't you? <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's, it's, it's a great. Co always actually. does though because he wants the experience. He wants, he wants the experience. Uh -huh. yeah, it's, it's, he is the special of the strange. This is what he does. He's got to do yeah. it because he is the one that tests the water for everybody else. It's coming along. The entity the that's here to do. Uh -huh. The entity that's here to do is someone that. He's really very powerful, and he's. I don't think he's a he or a she. I don't know what he is. Really. Things. They couldn't appear and live among us if it wasn't for people like you, Dakota, and Sherry that can actually <laughs> talk to them and I uh, communicate with them. <laughs> the, it, it's, it's, it's got something today, I can tell you that today. He's got something today with, the, with Sherry's friends. Isn't that right, Sherry? It's yeah. it's quite a mystical thing what's about to harm, surely. I don't know if they'll do it in front of the camera or not because they do not like doing it in front of the camera. For some weird reason. It's usually me to pick on though. The, you don't pick on you. It usually makes me the example. It's, no, it's, 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 I think they've actually welcomed you actually. I think they've actually welcomed you actually because there was Oh, a I know they have, Christopher. Yeah. Yeah, I think they have. Yeah, she's definitely well welcome. She's definitely welcome. I always find it funny. Well so, Dakota, or whoever you are, what's your name? He's trying to show you the K2. Aye, the K2. Look at the K2, guys. It's lighting up like a small nuclear power station. See, they don't See, want Drew, to. Drew, living history over here, like, his old man left. They don't He's want like, what's going on? They know no everybody believes you, and it's not fair. How 90% of the people in the chat believe in this. Uh -huh. 90% of the people. But there's a few the people in this you chat. You know, it's the most hardest thing when you're channeling and you're communicating with something from somewhere else, and the most most down feeling is when people actually criticise you and think yeah. that you're, you're full of crap, when you're it's not. not fair. Like, it's I, like, I would never asked for my abilities and stuff you know I was not given an option on if I wanted my abilities yeah. or anything like that so I've had to live with it so for me new situations and new new challenges can be very scary and very daunting for me because I've not had that opportunity to be able to choose if I wanted to be that way or not but share it I, See I have no you put into that drawing. Have you showed everybody the, that drawing you did on your live last night? That was that well, was the video. No, saw it was not live. It was a video. Few, quite a few days back, I done that. Right, but. see that the drawing that you did while you were listening to the tunes. Yeah. You did that within what fifty-five minutes. Yeah. 
How could you yeah. actually think that up within 55 minutes? It's got to have came from somewhere. Did you see the detail in the, the thing is, like, as you could tell in the video when you watch it, I had the tones on. You could mm-hmm. see that my yeah. I was being affected by the tones, but not the way that I get affected when they're channeling. It's different because I'm only getting vision and hearing them. So I was still with it and still very aware of what I was doing, but I was in that phrase that I could just keep drawing looking up every now and again, staring at the ceiling, getting the visions, carrying on. That's how it was, 55 minutes. I've had longer than that. I had that spaceship or um, or um, some sort of faculty that they live in underwater that I draw. Mm-hmm. That took me three hours. That was three hours solid, just sitting there with the tones on, keep replaying them and just drawing it. Literally. Do you know, do you know well, you were talking... You know, while you were talking, and I don't know why I did it, I went to the CV, CE5 app. We are not playing them. I know. I know. It's, it's, it's as if I was, I don't know. It's but so that's because they're making you want to do that, because obviously they're around yeah. you, and yeah, they're around they us. That that is what happens, but they normally I don't want to do that. Try to control myself, not there. Um, I don't know why I drive through it. Panel, there is an energy flowing between us. Just got to read the chat. I hope they make it a better world for my kids. I think they will make it a better world, Claire. I think they will. It's... Yeah, they will. Yeah. People have just got to be more open in acceptance to them and remember that not all of them are enemy. Yes, there are some dangerous ones out there, but a lot of them are not. And they're, they're, they want to do the bit. And I can see them staring at us. Blue people... A.K.A. The Blues. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Blue. If you're new, give us a subscribe. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers. We'd appreciate it and welcome to the channel. I'm not making hard signals, I promise. Yeah, he's channeling. Yeah, he's... I think it's one of your... I think it's one of your Palladian friends that's coming through. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I showed yeah. you a lot of my, my symbols in that the other week, like, and that, but then I had the table. Do you I get any inclination of what the symbols are, though? Does that represent families, areas, areas? Sometimes I can get feelings in that, that it'll be something to do with a planet or it'll be something to do with something specific to do with them. They don't, like I said to you, they don't really give you a lot of information off because they're not allowed to share everything with you. It's down to us to be able to find out and learn that ourselves. Yeah. But There'll be one of them that looks like a map. They'll give it, like, that's what these visions and these sightings are. They give us this for us to look into so we can work out what they're trying to tell us. But it's not, they're not mm-hmm. here to tell you what they're here to do. That is our job. No, that is how we're open to them. You've got to... I mean, us as beings, we're not open to tell everybody everything about our business. So why would they? You they know? definitely, they're definitely not. You look at how they've been treated and they've had their own you tanks. Can't, like, we, kill our, we kill our own tank and they've had yeah. their time come here and they, be ended as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. They, they're not going to be like that, you know what I mean? The they're going to be very, very vigilant. People. That's why they won't communicate with you if you don't want them to communicate with you. You've got to want to. They're not just going to jump on you and start doing whatever. They're not like... Yeah. Like, you could go into a place and start talking to a spirit and keep, keep doing it and keep doing it and they'll do it in the end, you know what I mean? With them, it's different. It's about building the trust with them and things. You know, they, they're not dead. They're not dead. They're, they're a living being like we are. You know what I mean? They They've been do doing experiments for years for a reason. We need to figure out what the Because we're all connected. Yeah. We're, we're all, all connected. We're not just from heaven and hell. We are from other astral places. Please. We are oh, from God. other dimensions. We have all got some sort of carnation of blood to do with alien. We, we are aliens. We're not from a planet. We're from a star system. We are aliens yeah. like every other person in this whole world. Already planted us all here. Because yeah. some of us intend to be a bit more linked for various yeah. reasons. Yeah. Some can communicate oh. Oh. with home, if you like. <laughs> weird that. It's, it's, it's actually quite a weird night the night. Cause it's, it's, it keeps taking me to my phone trying to play the, the tones. I don't know why. But I'm not doing it. Because I, I don't want to see Drew living his life. We've got to this. kind of prepare for these things. Things yeah. start going wrong when you do things like that. What happened last time? 
See, it's, it's, it's actually kind of funny. I, I, I've been sitting here, um, and I've been listening to, to everything everybody's been saying. And uh, I had made the remark earlier, you know, that um, I was having flashbacks um, to all the things that happened with my health uh, back in 2016. And... I haven't really given that much thought in a long time. Um, I'm going to share, I'm going to share the story real quick. I've never told anybody besides my wife. And frankly, it it scares the hell out of me. I'll be completely honest about it, but I think I'm in the right group of people now that I can actually talk about without breaking into tears out of fear. Um, ever since I was a small child, very small, three, four years old, I had dreams of, you know, what people would call abduction dreams. And from maybe 12 or 13 years old until 2016, they stopped. Completely didn't have them anymore. I was in I was in a coma for ten days. After, when when my body starts shutting down the third time, they put me in a medically induced coma. Well, when I was in that coma, scientifically, medically speaking, when you're in a coma and your 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 brain is not receiving input, you're not talking, you're not hearing, not seeing. In the medical field, when your brain starts to create filler or input, they call that coma psychosis. I've seen places in that hospital that they tell me don't exist in that hospital. I've seen, I, I remember waking up in a room. It was pit black outside the windows everything was white there was a little teeny tiny radio sitting on a shelf right in front of me playing really soft music I was in a suspended hammock suspended from eight different points all four corners and the middle of each straight line Hanging from the ceiling, even the cables were white. Now, I remember a nurse walking in and talking to me. I asked her where my wife was. She said, oh, she's outside having a cigarette. She'll be back just a little bit. She gave me something to drink. I fell back asleep. I remember waking up again. It was dark. I was in this same room again. Same scenario. Gave me something to drink because I was dry. I passed back out. I later woke up in a place that was, it almost looked like some kind of a futuristic home health care kind of place. Uh, there was there was hard cabinets all around. There was a sling suspended in them. And I sat there, and I was watching this television monitor, and they were talking about part of your recovery is a, is a good start to your day. Uh, when you see your nurse, make sure and ask her about these, the fruit smoothies handmade in our kitchen. And I asked the nurse about it. She said, oh, no, you're, 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 we're not going to put anything solid in you yet. You're, you're just coming out of this. I was not just coming out of it because it was three and a half days later that they sat me on a bench with a hole in it and I put my face in it and they started bringing me out of the coma. When I got home four days later, for almost a month, my abduction dreams came back. I actually seen myself being moved 
away from the bed towards the door on a hovering stainless steel board. These were not grays. These were not the tall, skinny, grayish, icky, big-eyed, blah, blah, blah. These things were white, almost luminescent white. Were they friendly, There was, There was four of them. One at each end, pushing like and pulling me, and, and and two walking beside me, trying to talk to me. And I, I woke up long enough to see them to move away it. from the bed and start to go out the door. Those dreams came back for a month. How was your recovery for your illness? Look at my hairs. I'm standing up. Did you, there is no recovery. When you had the um, when you had these visits and things like that after, like you're recovering for a month, did did you find that you you healed quicker? I lost weight. Well, I lost almost forty pounds in that month. Now, granted, I had diabetes. Okay, diabetes is a worldwide thing. Everybody, everybody knows somebody that suffered from diabetes. People know people who have died from diabetes. You know, and I dropped all that weight, but my numbers were never controllable. They say 100 to about 130 is perfect. I've never dropped below 350. All the medicine, all the insulin, all the pills, nothing drops me below 350. See, it's keeping you healthy because that's a healthy weight. Mm-hmm. Well, it's my not my weight, my, my my blood sugar. My blood sugar right, stays right, at 350. Right, right, right. My, my weight stays right around 220. I was 265 pounds when it hit me. Because looking at you, you look as if you're about the right weight you should be for a man your age, you know? So I've, you look healthy enough to me. Dinner's done and you said you'd be done already. Just to okay. let people on the like podcast know they're actually not that healthy tonight. So I think that was a positive. I've been, like, to me, it sounds like that they, yeah, they were taking you and it sounds like when you, know, you was getting that board that was taking you back and forth, but it sounds like they were taking you to help your recovery as well. Yeah. Like, even though you was in hospital and recovering, they were doing things with you as well. Like, you're saying that your readings should be low, but they've always been high, but you've not had anything that affects you to the extent that you need to be in hospital, have you? Like, you feel yeah, okay. So... No, well, yeah, I, uh, I mean, I still have the dizzy spells. I still get very lightheaded. Um, I have that neuropathy problem, the constant tingling and numbness in my feet and hands. Uh, while you guys were talking about it, as a matter of fact, I was sitting here and my, my, my finger was down on the desk doing that. I was having that muscle spasm. Um, I'm losing my, I'm losing my eyesight. I mean, right. you know, I'm, I'm having all the problems of a bad diabetic, but I'm not a bad diabetic. Right. Yeah. So it's just, it's one of those things that I, I oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The best I can. I mean, you know, we don't have a lot of money, especially now, for me yeah. to get the special foods I need to eat yeah. and stuff, stuff like that. And I, I can't expect four other people or yeah, three other people to follow that's my diet and diet. some alternatives, though, and some remedies and things that's natural to it. Because a lot of the time, a lot of people think they need medications and things, and there is always a herbal alternative. Just try and maybe yeah. research into that and what grows in your local area and things. I actually take cinnamon, which is very, very yeah. good for bringing down your yeah. blood sugar. Uh, I, I'm on a natural. Uh, I'm on a. I'm on a natural multivitamin that. Uh, Keeps me, you know, from getting my Charlie horses and stuff like that. It don't really stop. You like out. ginger? Do you like ginger? I liked Marianne a lot more. <laughs> because if you like ginger, try using a wee things, a wee bit of, a bit of ginger and things. Oh, 
it's good for your yeah. metabolism. So try using ginger and things. It's been, it's been a really interesting night tonight, hasn't it? It has. It has. It has. The it's been, is not with us. Yeah, uh, neither am I. Uh, I'm running on emergency power right now. Um, I'll tell you why after this. Um, but I would like to thank everybody for coming, you know. And we'll be doing a show on Wednesday, but then we might put out a show on Saturday, Christmas Day, obviously. But it will be a pre-recorded show if it comes out on Saturday. So I would like to thank Sherry for coming, Drew for coming, and Drew from Living History for coming. And obviously my lovely co-host. Always a pleasure. I can get away with saying that when he's away with the fairies, you know. I can get away with saying that, you know. But without further ado, Dakota, would you like to play the wee Christmassy thing? And then... There you go. So what would you like for Christmas? I'm never drinking again. Who ordered the shot? Whoever ordered the shots, you're not my friend anymore. Oh, I gotta poop. Oh, that's a very special present. Well, honestly, Dakota, honestly, I just do it all sometimes. Guys, have a great Christmas. And I love you. If you can see me again, 